Hello everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest and most reliable methods to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, even if you're using unsupported hardware in 2025. So, if you're still on Windows 10 and looking for a safe and straightforward way to move to Windows 11, make sure to watch this video until the end. I'm confident you'll find this method both convenient and effective. Now, before we begin, I personally don't recommend upgrading to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware since Microsoft does not officially support it. That means features like TPM and Secure Boot may not be available, which could impact your system's security and stability. However, if you're aware of the risks and still want to proceed with the upgrade, then let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is ensure that your Windows 10 is updated to the latest version. To check which version you're currently using, click on the Windows search bar, type WinVer and press enter. For example, on my system it shows Windows 10 version 22 H2, which is an older version. Before moving on to the Windows 11 upgrade, it's very important to update all the pending updates on your current version of Windows 10. To do this, right click on the start menu and select settings. Once you're in the settings window, click on update and security. There, under the Windows update section, your system will automatically check for any available updates. If updates are available, make sure to download and install them. In my case, I have a pending update, so I'll click on restart now to apply the changes. Keep in mind, it might take a few minutes for the update process to complete, so you'll need to wait until your PC restarts and everything is up to date once your system has restarted and all updates are installed. Now, the next step is to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Open your preferred web browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge here, but you can use any browser of your choice. In the search bar, type Windows 11 ISO download and press enter. From the search results, click on the official Microsoft link that says download Windows 11. Once the page loads, scroll down until you see the section Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 devices. Click on the drop down menu, select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO, and then click the download button. After that, it will prompt you to choose a product language. This is a crucial step. You must select the same language that your current Windows 10 installation is using. If you're unsure what your current Windows 10 operating system language is, I will show you how you can quickly check it. Click on the Windows search bar and type CMD, then right click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. When prompted, click Yes. Now Command Prompt window will appear. Now, in the command prompt window, type this simple command, don't worry. You can easily copy and paste it from the video description below. After typing the command, press enter, you'll see detailed information about your system. Look for system locale and installed language. For example, in my case, it shows EN, US. It means English, United States. Once you've confirmed your current language, you can close the command prompt window. Now return to the Microsoft download page and select the same language from the list, then click Confirm. Next, click on the 64-bit download button. This will begin downloading the latest version of Windows 11. The file size is approximately 5.4 gigabytes, so you'll need to wait for the download to complete. Alright, once the ISO file has finished downloading, the next step is to mount it. Simply right click on the ISO file and select mount from the context menu. It will open the mount file, the system will assign a new drive letter to this mounted ISO. On my system, for example, it appears as the F drive. It may be different for you, so be sure to note down the correct drive letter. Now, the next step is to open PowerShell in the correct location. First, double-click the Sources folder inside the mounted Windows 11 ISO. Once you're inside the folder, find an empty white space in the window, any blank area where no files are listed. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and while holding it, right-click in that empty space. Then release the Shift key, and from the context menu, click on Open PowerShell window here. This will launch a PowerShell window with a blue background. 
In the PowerShell window, carefully type this command. Make sure there are no spaces in setup prep exe and everything is typed in lowercase exactly as shown. If needed, pause the video here to double check your typing. You can also copy this command from my video description. Once you've typed the command, press enter. You may get a pop-up asking, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? It's safe to proceed. Click yes. You should then see a window that says preparing, followed by the install Windows Server screen. Don't worry, this is just a part of the bypass method. It will install Windows 11, not Windows Server. Now, click on next and the setup will begin checking for updates. This may take a few moments, so please be patient while it completes. Once the check is done, you'll be prompted to choose a licensing method. Click accept then, you'll be given options for what to keep during the upgrade. Either keep personal files, apps and settings, or just keep personal files only. Here, choose keep personal files, apps and settings, and then click next. The setup will check for updates once more. Let it complete. And finally, you'll see a screen saying, ready to install Windows 11 Pro now. Click on install and that's it. The Windows 11 Pro installation process will begin. This might take some time, so be patient. If you're using a laptop, make sure it's plugged into a charger and has a stable power supply. If the installation process is interrupted, you might not be able to boot into either Windows 10 or 11. Now just sit back and wait for the installation to complete. All right, as you can see, the upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 has been completed smoothly without any issues. The system is now running Windows 11. I've personally tested this method on multiple machines and it has worked flawlessly every time. Hopefully it works just as well for you too. If it does, let me know in the comments below. And if you run into any issues during the upgrade process, feel free to drop your questions in the comments. I'm here to help. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any future tech tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got a lot more exciting content coming your way. Your support means a lot and helps keep this channel going strong. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.